The CDTV from Commodore Dynamic Total Vision, later treated as a backronym for Compact Disc Television, is a home multimedia entertainment and video game console convertible into a full-fledged personal computer by the addition of optional peripherals, developed by Commodore International and launched in April 1991. Description The CDTV is essentially a Commodore Amiga 500 home computer with a CD-ROM drive and remote control. With the optional keyboard, mouse, and floppy disk drive, it gained the functionality of the regular Amiga. Commodore marketed the machine as an all-in-one multimedia appliance. As such, it targeted the same market as the Philips CDI. The expected market for multimedia appliances did not materialize, and neither machine met with any real commercial success. Though the CDTV was based entirely on Amiga hardware, it was marketed strictly as a CDTV, with the Amiga name omitted from product branding. Commodore announced the CDTV at the summer 1990 Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago, promising to release it before the end of the year with 100 software titles. The product debuted in North America in March 1991, CES Las Vegas, and in the UK, World of Commodore 1991 at Earl's Court, London. It was advertised at £499 for the CDTV unit, remote control, and two software titles. The device was released in the United States for $999. In 1990, Computer Gaming World stated that Commodore had a poor reputation among consumers and developers, citing abysmal record of customer and technical support in the past." The company chose Amiga Enthusiast magazines as its chief advertising channel, but the Amiga community on the whole avoided the CDTV in the expectation of an add-on CD-ROM drive for the Amiga, which eventually came in the form of the A570. This further hurt sales of the CDTV, as an A570 equipped A500 was electronically the same as a CDTV and, consequently, could run CDTV software, so there was very little motivation for an Amiga owner to buy a CDTV. Commodore would rectify this with CDTV's successor, the A1200 based Amiga CD32, by adding the Akiko chip, enabling developers to produce CD32 games that were playable only on the CD32. However, Nolan Bushnell, one of the chief endorsers of the CDTV, argued the system's high price alone was enough to explain its market failure. It's very difficult to sell significant numbers of anything at more than $500. I felt that I could sell a hundred thousand of something that costs $800 standing on my head. I thought that it would be a no-brainer. And I can tell you that the number of units that we sold in the US at $800 you could put in your eye and not draw tears." The CDTV was supplied with Amigaus 1.3, rather than the more advanced and user-friendly 2.0 release that was launched at around the same time. Notably, the CDXL motion video format was primarily developed for the CDTV, making it one of the earliest consumer systems to allow video playback directly from CD-ROM. By 1994 Computer Gaming World described the CDTV as a «fiasco» for Commodore. Though the company later developed an improved and cost-reduced CDTV2, it was never released. Commodore discontinued the CDTV in 1993 with the launch of the Amiga CD32, which again was substantially based on Amiga hardware in this case the newer Amiga 1200 but explicitly targeted the game's market. Design The CDTV was intended as a media appliance rather than as a mainstream personal computer. As such, its housing had dimensions and styling that were fairly comparable to most household stereo system components of the period, and it came with an infrared remote control. Similarly, it was initially sold without a keyboard or a mouse which could be added separately, and were later bundled with the machine. The CDTV was based on the same technology as earlier Amiga systems, but featured a single speed CD ROM drive and no floppy disk drive as standard. Technical specifications Notes
Carat North American model Carat UK model Carat European model Topic: Official upgrades. The CDTV is compatible with many Amiga peripherals from the same period. In addition, official CDTV peripherals and upgrades included wireless infrared mouse CD1252, wireless trackball, black styled keyboard. SCSI controller providing both an internal and external SCSI connector for hard disk drives and other SCSI devices External black styled hard disk drive External black styled floppy disk drive CD1411, and FB354C Proprietary memory cards with a capacity of 64 or 256 kilobytes CD1401, CD1405, allowing storage of game scores and progress. Genlocks for NTSC or PAL CD1300, CD1301 to overlay video signal with a secondary video source. Topic: Versions. <laughs> CDTV, CDTV unit and remote control, gamepad Pro Pack, CDTV unit, remote control, gamepad, keyboard, mouse and floppy disk drive, along with Almathera CDPD public domain software compilation on CD-ROM. <laughs> Market competition Topic: High-end A V primary market. Multipurpose audio video systems. Philips CDI. Pioneer's LaserActive. Tandy Video Information System. Topic: Video gaming secondary market. NEC PC Engine with Super CD-ROM expansion Nintendo's SNES Sega Mega Drive with CD-ROM expansion The 3DO Company's 3DO Interactive Multiplayer See also Amiga models and variants <laughs>